What's up guys? We are finally finishing Alibi and Ashes. Today, this morning, 1254. So, um, I have the code right here. I didn't want to bore you guys with that. So I just completed it. And now we're here at the end. And uh Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Go up the ladder. Um, I'm not gonna go under the ladder and find Ha! I knew we were getting close. Today just keeps on getting better. Hey, Michael. Then watch Endgame? Alright. You can't hear it. I'll have bad audio, but... We just escaped the tunnel. And we're at the police department. It's right there. Police department. Right Chief, I've got something you need to see. Nice job, Nancy. Nice could no longer contain the darkness inside herself in a desperate Friend. act she set She's the night person. sky ablaze perhaps we'll never know what caused nancy drew to strike the match that forever changed this town but one thing is certain river heights will be a safer place with nancy drew behind bars with a heavy heart we must forever say goodbye to a former hero and look bravely Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Brenda Carlton, you're under arrest. No, this isn't happening. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. Where is she you going? don't want to mess with me. I've got dirt on all of you. I could ruin every single one of you. Yeah, that's a risk we'll have to take. Back to you, Jim. Dear Hannah, Brenda was right about one thing. Her broadcast did make it all the way to the national news. Just not exactly the way she had intended. Not the type to let a little thing like a prison sentence get in the way of her ambition. She's already started working the weather news desk at Heights Regional Correction Center. I'm sure she'll work her way to the lead anchor desk during the next 10 to 20 years. While Tony had nothing to do with the fire, she did show her true colors. As the details of the case emerged, public support for Tony fell to an all-time low. Yep. Tony quietly removed her name from the ballot, but remains behind the counter at Scoop. It'll be a while before any of us go out for ice cream again. To everyone's surprise, the time capsule survived the survived. fire. And sure enough, when it was opened, J.P. Bennington's so-called stolen property was recovered. After decades, Alexi was finally vindicated. Dad is working on formally pardoning Alexi of all wrongdoing. For once, Alexi seems pretty happy. When I asked him if he's interested in being a detective again, he said, never again. But he did say he would be happy to help any time. Deirdre is still Deirdre. She's throwing a post-clues challenge party this weekend. Not surprisingly, Ned's been invited. And not surprisingly, Bess, George, and I have not. Me. Not that we go anyway. The town hall is set to be demolished soon and replaced with a new museum celebrating the history of River Heights. Word is that Alexi may be asked to be head curator. Now that I've been publicly exonerated, the town has really started to show its support again. My neighbors have gotten together to repair our window, Thank and my God. house is overflowing with notes of support and baked treats. Through a rock through the window. For me, Watch it's video. just nice to no longer be public enemy number one. As the winners of the Clues Challenge, I got to choose what to place in the time capsule. I'm pretty happy with what I chose to put in there. If you think about it, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Or you could always wait 50 years until it's reopened. Finally, I couldn't have gotten through everything without help from the best friends a girl could have. And, of course, your wonderful gift basket. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. We did it, guys. Which of the following is not a flavor of ice cream in it? Minty Ice cream and Um, Acorn Harvest. Let me know. I know Berry Blast and Minty Madness. Peachy King and the Acorn Harvest, I don't think. No! Okay, whatever. Spider. Halfway across the world, beyond Cairo is, uh, and the ancient pyramids, a lost world rises from the shifting desert sands. 
I've joined leading archaeologists to help unearth a site that some say may be the true tomb of Egypt's legendary lost queen. But once I arrive, rumors of terrifying curses fly, and stories of the site's deadly past begin to surface. It's up to me to solve an ancient riddle and find Egypt's legendary lost queen before a curse as old as the pharaohs themselves seals my fate forever. Join me in my next adventure, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Don't have that one, but I should still watch it though. <sighs> Yo, thank you guys for sticking out with me, watching the videos. Stay tuned for the next one, for real. Peace out.